Hey everybody, Mark Hazi here from Black Hat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day, even when there's not new comics. I'm here to remind you that it is Wednesday uh, and keep you in Wednesday mode because we're just a few weeks away from new comics coming back. So I've been putting out the uh, videos and uh, showing the new readers things that they can get into, showing you established readers some things you can have fun with. Uh, this week it's Earth Day, so we found some Earth Day themes, some, some cool uh, different aspects of Earth Day and comics you can get into. Going to start with my man Aquaman. This is the Aquaman 100 page giant, number one. You know we've been talking up these 100 page giants and it doesn't get more Earth Day than Aquaman. Love me some King Arthur. You can read more about this one in our newsletter, much like this is the classic comic of the week. That's Secret Origins number seven reprints the original origin of Aquaman, a little different from the origin that you know, but it's always fun to read some Golden Age comics. And this is uh, Bronze Age Swamp Thing volume one. Doesn't get any more uh, Earth Day, any more classic, any more awesome than some original Swamp Thing. Uh, if you saw the video that I posted yesterday, you know I love uh, talking up the Bronze Age and anything Bronze Age. And like I say, it doesn't get any more Defender of the Green than Swamp Thing. Great stuff there. Uh, I guess I skipped the Aquaman pop figure while I was showing you some cool Aquaman stuff. Because we do a little more than comic books around here. Uh, let's move on to Planet of the Apes. You're asking, what's Earth Day about Planet of the Apes? Well when uh, the Earth is ravaged and uh, the next evolution takes over. That's what that's all about. You know I love Planet of the Apes and never miss an opportunity to talk that up. Silver Surfer, Epic Volume 1. Uh, you know, it kind of doesn't get any more Earth Day than Silver Surfer because there's a thousand comics of him sitting out in outer space staring at our little blue world wondering what's going to happen to... Uh, all of its life forms. Everybody loves some Silver Surfer. This epic volume one contains his first appearance from Fantastic Four 48 and lots of other early great stuff by Lee and Kirby and a few of the other all-time greats. Love me some Silver Surfer. How about Fathom from Michael Turner? Does it get more Earth Day than stories about the ocean? Sort of the independent Aquaman character. Everybody loves Michael Turner, one of the uh, great artists of comics. And uh, if you don't know too much about Fathom or too much about Aspen Comics, this would be a great book to read while you're uh, on hiatus. Or Farmhand. Doesn't get any more Earth Day than being a farmer. Uh, Farmhand is one of the more esoteric titles that Image does. I'm always saying that Image does a lot of kinds of things that the other publishers just don't do. This one's about a farmer that grows human organs. That's pretty awesome. Firefly is pretty Earth Day because uh, it's all about terraforming. <clears throat> Excuse me, when uh, we can't live here anymore, we gotta go find other planets to turn into Mother Earth. So that's cool. Or Black Science, fairly similarly, uh, another one of the cool titles from Image. Uh, a little post-apocalyptic, a little what do we do when we've ravaged the Earth and uh, we need to still live here. Love me some Black Science. Pandemica. From IDW. To be honest, I don't know what this book's about, but it's called Pandemica, so that seems kind of appropriate for these days. Undiscovered Country. It's another new image book that's just red hot right now. It's uh, about a quarantined America and uh, folks that got to come to a quarantined America. Kind of timely for this year's Earth Day. Much like Oblivion Song. Another great image book. You might notice I'm talking up these image guys because uh, they're doing a lot to support us during this uh, hiatus time, so I'm doing my part to support them. You love anything, Kirkman. You might not know about this one if you're a Walking Dead fan. That's the volume one to pick that up. And how about Poison Ivy? Let's throw a little dark side in there. Doesn't get any more protector of the earth than Poison Ivy. If you've seen any of her episodes of the, Bla of the Batman animated series, you know she's sort of the uh, hero of Mother Earth. This is her teaming up with Harley Quinn. This is her teaming up with Harley Quinn and Betty and Veronica, which uh, is my opportunity to pitch Archie comics because I love pitching Archie comics. And then, you know, here's a Poison Ivy PVC character 
because you love Poison Ivy. And even better, here's the bombshell Poison Ivy figure, because everybody loves the bombshells and everybody loves Poison Ivy. And like I say, we do a little bit more than just comic books around here. Lots and lots of fun stuff to get over to black-cat-comics.com, click on Shopify, and uh, have some fun with some Earth Day comics. Hope you guys are uh, staying safe, staying sane, staying happy, and staying home. Uh, as I say, go to black-cat-comics.com and uh, shop around. Pick yourself up something fun, something new, something new to you, because it's new to you comic book day. And make sure you tune in uh, Saturday at 2 o'clock on Facebook and on YouTube to check out our cool Comic Shop Talk live show that's interactive, and you can uh, send us your questions, comments, concerns about all things comics. That's all we got for you for this week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on Saturday.